Zara versus Sanji. Why are you doing this to me? I'd like to engage in some power scaling, good sir, if you oh, would hear me. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen. I am going to give you a series of matchups, and you're going to tell me who wins and why. Let's do it. Eustace Kid versus Trafalgar Law. I'm biased, obviously. <laughs> I am more impressed with Law based mm-hmm. on his abilities, and Puncture Willie is still the, more, the most impressive thing I've seen in this arc. I still have no idea what the hell that is. In context, Law was support for a lot of things that's when i think that's when he's at his best and i think kid he doesn't get enough credit for just how much he can take his stamina and how creative he can be so unbiased opinion uses captain kid because i think he would probably outlast law and he is as creative with not as good a devil fruit it's just not as appreciated because it's not as sexy so your response here is that eustace kid wins the fight but law is sexier yes exactly that's exactly what i'm saying i think that keeps both sides happy <laughs> exactly that's the, that's the goal in all this Steli versus saint charlos oh man saint charlos can i just say in this i want you to say who will win the fight and who is the most sexy we're going to be doing that from now on okay let's do it i would say Steli is sexier for sure but saint charlos there's no way he didn't awaken hockey or something <laughs> after getting <laughs> 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 After getting fucking clobbered. A Luffy Gear Fifth Awakening style yes. reaction. <laughs> yes, exactly. So <laughs> I'd say Charlos wins that fight. He has to be stronger somehow now. King versus Queen. Obviously, King is sexier. But, you know, there's some people that appreciate the big boys. So I'm not going to down that. King Wing. King Wing. King Wing. King wins. <laughs> King wins. Uh, because I think Queen is as brilliant as he is, is stupid. Well, I think he's an idiot, but he's brilliant. If, you know, they fight it'd be difficult but i think king wins okay Mm, okay. let me get this (laughs) you think that king bomb would defeat the queen mama chan hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i've let you have your like incoherent (laughs) ramble but (laughs) this is controversial and we need to get to it Uh, okay hold on ask me that question who did you think i was referring to (laughs) king bomb versus queen mama chanta the ship Big Mom ship. Oh my god, this is a lot more difficult of a matchup. I gotta go with King Bomb. I think the ship is sexier though. Definitely tastier, I would say. Yeah. Would it work the same way if it was tag teaming? Like King King versus Queen Queen? Or King and Queen versus King and Queen? I don't know. Are we underwater? Actually, King can fly and Queen can do things. So yeah, yeah, still the same. (laughs) Still the same thing. And Queen can also do things. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Important matchup, Zoro versus Sanji. Why are you doing this to me? This is official and on the record and who Whoever you choose will be the victor. So I saw your poll. Oh, that's very sneaky of you to have looked that up in advance. (laughs) (laughs) So I saw the results of that and that was overwhelming. I do agree. Zoro is the victor. I do think it's a much, much closer than people would expect with Sanji and his exoskeleton at this point. I do love Sanji though. I love them both. That turned very political. (laughs) I love both sides, but if you're going to twist my arm. (laughs) What is the best part about one piece uh lore as in trafalgar law or is in L O R E? yeah it's funny because in my head i was thinking of it i was gonna say law and then it was like lore uh, lore <laughs> yeah one piece of lore the world building and the history and everything that's built up over time the best thing about one piece what is the yeah. worst part about one piece uh fights really fight expectations i think what happens is that oda does a masterful job of building up interactions and then so you kind of play them in your head and then sometimes it happens then sometimes it's like it's like a build up and then it just they just walk away like dofaming and aokiji like oh shit Mm. okay 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 it's happening it's (laughs) happening (laughs) fuck it didn't happen or the Odin flashback. Okay, we have Whitebeard, we have Roger, we have Rayleigh, we have Scopper, we have Odin. God, it's going to be insane. It was insane, don't get me wrong. But like in my head, I thought of like a five chapter war of Rayleigh and Odin <laughs> fighting Scopper, me. It wasn't that. Right. I think if I had to pick the worst part about One Piece, I would say personally my expectation for fights. If you had to get rid of one straw hat, which would it be and why? Oh, man. 
So for Whole Cake <laughs> Island, I would 100 percent would have said Brooke. I had gotten tired of the panty joke. I did. I no longer thought he was funny. However, Brooke has proven his immense value in these last two or three arcs. He, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I love Brooke again. I would get rid of Chopper and recruit Law onto the ship. I mean, that wasn't part of the question. <laughs> that is what I would do. Sorry. My poor baby. Look into his I'm, eyes and tell him that you're getting I'm, rid of him. I'm sorry. Everyone else. It's okay, Chopper. Everyone else. I, I, I can't. We, we, Usopp can't go anywhere. Nami, Robin, we need those. Frankie, he's a ship. You know, Jimbe. Hold on. Let me think about this. While you think, he's going to stay here and stare you in the <laughs> eye throughout the rest okay, of the video. Okay, okay. I'm, I like, no, Chopper, sorry. Final answer. Yep, sure. All right. Watch <laughs> off, Chopper. Which animal in One Piece is your favorite? Animal. The animal, yes. I know there's a lot of great ones to choose from. Take your time. Ah, uh, the, my favorite animal in One Piece. Yes. Oh, crap. Um, does it matter if they've eaten a devil fruit or no, not? No, they can be completely fruitless. Fuck. So, so far your answer is shit, <laughs> fuck. Oh. I'm going between um, Karu and Rinosuke. Probably Kung Fu Dugongs. Yeah. Very good. Let's let's go with them. Just going to make this clear. My answer would have been Southbird. Interesting mm-hmm. answer. Why the Southbird? Because he's so damn smug. He just sits up there, <laughs> looks yes. down upon you. <laughs> what is your favorite laugh in One Piece? <laughs> it's between <laughs> Doflamingo <laughs> and Whitebeard. <laughs> It's like, what the (laughs) fuck even is it? It's perfect. Like, it's just grumbling, mumbling, just in your throat things. But those two. Moria's up there as well for me. What does he sound like? I love the one piece of man. I love them so much. (laughs) It is so crazy. The other one that often gets brought up would be Perona. They're like, Uh, well, since you love to laugh, I've got some jokes for you, some One Piece themed jokes. Oh God! I would like, I would like to make very clear that these are not my jokes. I uh, source these from members of the Grand Fleet, and I would okay. like you to rate them out of ten. Okay. Are you ready to laugh? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. What color is Sanji's bedroom? Do I answer? Uh, I asked you a question. <laughs> um, <laughs> is this how the joke goes? It's like, you know, knock, knock. You've got it. You've got okay. To okay. Got yeah. it. Got it. We'll, we'll do this. Yeah. What, what color is Sanji's bedroom? Yellow? No, it's all blue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I give that an 8.5. 8.5, wow, all right. I love dad jokes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't Brooke learn the alphabet? Why couldn't he? Because he got stuck at sea. Okay, 6.5. 6.5, okay, 6.5. we've taken a big step down, which <laughs> 6.5. is I think what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> How do you steal from CP9? How do you steal from CP9? How do you steal from CP9? You rob Lucci. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's really good. That's a nine. Why can't you trust Nami? I don't know. Why can't you trust Nami? Because she might end up robbing you. Ah, uh, 6.5. Why does no one have time for fishman jokes? Why doesn't anyone? Because they are long. <laughs> okay. All right. 8.5. Rob uh, Lucci won the, uh, won the joke off. Do you like games, Mr. BDA Law? I actually do. That's wonderful, because we just so happen to have a game of hat in a bag set up to play. Would you like to play? Okay, let's uh, let's do this. <laughs> so in case you're unfamiliar with the rules of hat in a bag, it's very simple. There is a one piece themed hat in this bag. Okay. And it's going to be your job to guess what it is. You may ask me three yes or no questions, and then you will be forced to guess which hat is in the bag. Simple. Let's play hat in a bag. Is the hat orange? No. Is the person who wears this hat a captain? Yes. Have we seen this hat in Wano so far? Yes. So just to recap, it's not orange. The person is a captain and the hat has been present on Wano, which the vague nature of which you said it can mean either flashbacks or in the present (laughs) timeline. (laughs) I realized that when I asked that. (laughs) Unfortunately, the Wano flashback just so happens to take a journey around the whole world. (laughs) It is time 
to guess which hat is in the bag. Okay. The hat in the bag is the straw hat. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> it was the straw hat. Congratulations on winning hat in a bag. <laughs> Which warlord of the sea does not deserve to be a warlord? Mihawk. Oh, ooh. ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm. Go, expand. I think Mihawk is way too powerful to be a warlord. It's like you're bringing somebody under you or someone to control that you know you can't control, but they're just there to shoot the shit. And it's like, why even engage with this person that you're not, that they're not <laughs> going to do the things you ask of them. And so for Mihawk, I think he should not be a warlord because he is a Yonko without a crew. Right, so your answer to that <laughs> deliberately controversial question was essentially the job interview question of like, what's your greatest fault? Oh, I'm just too hard a worker just for this too, job. I'm too good for this, man. <laughs> I'm way too good for this. All right. Shit, you're hired. If Luffy wasn't the main character of One Piece, who would you like to follow? If I had to choose a new main character, does it have to be... <laughs> No, no, you go on. Don't worry about what's happening here. Um, does it have to be in the past or present? Does it matter? The only one I'm going to say it does matter is it can't be in the future. It can't be someone that we haven't Can't be met. Luffy's kid. Can't be Boofy being mentored by Boofy. Katakuri. No. You want Boofy <laughs> to take Luffy's place in One Piece. Right. And then he's going to meet Katakuri. He's going to be like, that's going to be like his dad, like White Beard was to Ace. And he's going to try to like outdo his dad because his uh, dad is so great. Or sort of like the Luffy Rayleigh relationship as well. Yeah. Since we've been following a, the, the pirate, I've like to follow a marine and the most interesting marine i think has been garp so i think garp's okay. journey to where he is because he has a fucked up family i don't know how thanksgivings are there quick response <laughs> not allowed to think about this first right. thing that comes off the top of your head very important question who is the next straw hat go yamato easy well thank you so much bdlo <laughs> for taking the time to uh, participate uh, in the shenaniganry it went semi to plan i would say um no problem i appreciate you having me on this shenaniganry is that a word it is now <laughs> you can check out bda law in, in the place i'll have a link thank you again